Welcome back. So today um, you need this paper that has this shape here that I gave you from class and this investigation here V2. It says surface area and pyramids and cones. I know you only have a cone and I'm going to have other shapes I'll be showing in the video but you don't need it. Okay. So here are a bunch of um, examples of a pyramid. This is called a triangular pyramid because the bottom, the base, it only has one base is a triangle and everything else goes to a sharp point. This is called a rectangular pyramid because the bottom that only has one bottom is a rectangle. Rectangular pyramid. This is called a pentagon pyramid. I haven't taped these together but they all come to a sharp point and it's a pentagon pyramid because the base is a pair uh, pentagon and there's only one base. Now compare that to a prism, this rectangular prism, prism versus this rectangular pyramid, all the lateral faces here are rectangles. Whereas all the lateral faces here are pyramid, are triangles, sorry. That's what distinguishes a pyramid from a prism come to a sharp point, all lateral faces are triangles. Okay. All right. Now, let's do this. I also want you to, when you cut out the Pac-Man, make sure they're stuck together still. And when you tape it, here's how you tape it so it becomes a cone. You're going to overlap these two straight edges, like so. Make them join and then tape it and then you'll have kind of a cone shape and then tape it down and then you've sealed your cone, sealed your cone with this. So the key is to bring these two straight edges together. Go ahead and tape that. I'm going to delete that out. Quiet, pause, delete, delete, delete. Start video now. When you cut and tape your cone, it will look like this. The, this part of the cone, the sharp part, we call it Pac-Man. Because remember, before we actually taped it together, it kind of looks like Pac-Man right here. Okay, we call this part the Pac-Man piece, and we call this a circle. All right, let's get to the calculations. To do surface area, it's the same, nothing new, is we're going to find the area of each surface, each face separately. So this rectangular pyramid that you don't have, but I'm going to show you how to draw it. We're going to draw a rectangle first over here. So just draw a rectangle, but kind of tilt it over. Now, right up here in this space, put a dot up high in the sky. This dot is going to connect to every corner of that rectangle. This one I'm going to make dotted because in the back. There. There's my pyramid. I'm going to give you some numbers. If the base is 12 millimeters and 9 here. This triangle, all of these triangles have the same height. Um, the height is 16. Okay, so now we've got everything. The base is a rectangle. The lateral faces are all triangles. And we just gotta do each face separately. We've got five in total. So let's do the base is 12 times 9, which is 108. The front and back are the same, but the right and left are different. See, the front has a base of 12, this triangle, and has a height of 16, divided by 2. Remember triangles, divide by 2. So I'm going to do this. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 12 times 8 is 96, and there's another one 
there's a front and a back the same, so I'm going to add another 96 to this, which is 192. There, I got front and back together. Now, the left and the right is comes next. It's a triangle again. Touch the edges, and you'll see this edge here is 9. That's the base. The height is the same, 16. Divide by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 9 times 8 is 72. That's the left. The front is the same, so I add another one. 144. To get the full pyramid, I just add these three numbers together. Let's see what the calculator says. 444 millimeters squared. All right. So again, lateral faces are all triangles. Okay, let's do a triangular pyramid, which is this one right here. The base is this. So I'm going to draw a triangular prism. Put a dot in the sky, connected. Did I say prism? I meant pyramid. Okay, let's put in the numbers here, 14, 10, and 10, okay, this is 14, this is 10, this is 10, and then we've got 11, so there's a height for this triangle here, that height is 11, and then all of these heights for the, the lateral faces, that height for that triangle is 12. And they're all 12 for the, all the faces sticking up. Okay, I know this is visually difficult. Let's do the bottom. It's a triangle. The base, see I look at the, the, the 9 degree height, so it's going to be 7 and 10 that go together. Divide by 2. 70 divided by 2 is 35. That's the bottom. Let's do the right face. The right face, we touch it 10 and 12. Divide by 2. Um, that's going to be 6, so 60. Let's do the left face. The left face is over here. Touch this left face, 10. It's also 12, so it's the same, 60. Now the back face, this one over here, has a height of 12, but the bottom base here, the base is 14. So 14 times 12, divide by 2. 17 divided by 2 is 7. 7 times 12 is 84. So now I have to add the bottom, the right, the left, and the back all together to get the final answer. When I add all those together, I have 239 millimeters squared. All of these were in millimeters. Okay, so notice that that triangular pyramid had nothing, none of the triangles really the same. Let's do a pentagon right here. We're going to draw the base first of a pentagon. Put a dot in the sky. Connect to the dotted line here. Solid here. All the rest do a solid. Each corner of the pentagon connects to that dot. Let's put in the numbers. I see an apothem of 5. The edges are 6. All of these are 6. The pentagon are all 6 all around. These triangles all have a height of 7. So I'm going to draw in a different colors so you can see better. This height here is 7. And these are all in centimeters. Okay, we have a bottom base, 1, and 5 triangles sticking up, and they all happen to be the same. It's going to make our life easier. So do 6 faces in total. I'm going to do the pentagon first. The pentagon we just cut in 2 triangles. There's six. There's 5 of them. Okay, so notice the pentagon 
has a height, which is what we call the apothem. The height is 5, the base is 6. So we just go base times height divide by 2, 6 times 5, 30 divided by 2 is 15. That is just one little red triangle. We've got five of them. So times five, 75. Let's do the tall, skinny triangle sticking up. The base is six, and the height is seven. So six times seven divided by two. 42 divided by two is 21. And there are five of these, so times five, 105. Add these together and you get 180 centimeters squared. I just want to give you a caution. The most common mistake in doing this shape is forgetting to multiply 5 here. Doing one triangle, getting 15 and stop. Another common mistake here is doing this triangle, get 21 and stop, forgetting to multiply by 5. Be careful with these pentagons, okay? Last is the cone. The cone only has two parts. It has a circle and it has Pac-Man. Two faces to do. This is called the base. We know this is pi r squared. This one I have to give you. Pi r s and s stands for slant height. In this here you have a slant height of 13 and your circle has a radius of 9. Okay, so to draw the cone, this is what you do. Draw an oval, that's over here. Draw kind of an oval, dot the other half of the oval, and then just go like this, connect into a triangle. There's your cone. The radius is nine millimeters, and the slant height, this is called the slant height, is 13. There is a thing called a straight up height, the vertical height, but that's unimportant with surface area. We don't need it. We just want the slant. So we just plug it into this formula. Surface area is pi r squared, which is a circle, added to the pi r s, which is the Pac-Man piece. So I plug in the numbers. Radius is 9. Slant height is 13. Oops, this is 9. So this is 81 pi, what's 9 times 13? 117 pi, these are like terms, I can add them. What's 81 plus 117? 198 pi millimeters squared, and we're done. Okay, so there's only one formula here that you need to know, and it's the cone formula pi r squared plus pi r s, as for slant height. Whereas the rest of the shapes, there isn't any formula. You just do each face separately and add the faces up, and you're done. Okay? All right, go ahead and take the online quiz, and you're done for the evening. See you tomorrow.